I'm Chow Vinson from the National University Hospital in Singapore. Advanced glaucoma technology such as uh, minimally invasive glaucoma surgery has a uh, large potential to have a huge impact globally. In um, the projected um, prevalence of glaucoma by the year 2040 is expected to increase to 111 million people, of which they are disproportionately um, residing in Asia and Africa. And in these countries, the patients often have a poor understanding of the disease and hence are quite non-compliant with the medications. The long-term recurrent cost of the medications may also render them unaffordable in the long run. And yet, the many ophthalmologists are quite reluctant to perform trabeculectomy because of the complications as well as the post-operative care and perhaps in some countries, the lack of surgical training. And I think that these uh, new glaucoma technologies fulfill, fulfill this unmet need in these countries by providing a safer and a surgical option which um, allows the surgeries to be performed earlier in the glaucoma treatment algorithm. Unfortunately though many of these technologies are too expensive at the moment and are prohibitive in many of these countries. I mean Singapore is an exception. By many of these countries the patients can't afford to pay $1,500 for one of these devices and I would like to urge the industry to consider alternative um, business models in which they can consider significantly lowering the cost of these devices in exchange for much larger surgical volumes. So for in glaucoma, there's no one-size-fits-all solution for glaucoma and the ophthalmologist needs to assess each patient individually to choose the best possible treatment option for this patient. In particular, they need to pay attention to the patient's disease severity, the target intraocular pressure, as well as their compliance with medications and tolerance of medications, even um, lifestyle factors such as whether they travel frequently because some of the medications require refrigeration and uh, are not so suitable for traveling. So now that we have a large armamentarium of glaucoma surgical devices, they can then choose the most appropriate treatment option, both um, medical as well as surgical, to uh, suit the particular patient. Well, I'm most excited by the new glaucoma surgical devices because they've really transformed my practice and I do a lot of mixed procedures in my practice. And um, I find that in these patients, uh, many of them actually are able to reduce or eliminate the need for medications. Some of the newer devices such as Infocus Microshunt might even be suitable for patients with more advanced glaucoma, though we need more data to confirm this. And in the future, uh, I hope that there will be more development in uh, sustained release drug um, preparations and hopefully these um, drugs can be administered in the clinic which will reduce the cost for the patients. Mm -hmm.